different atmospheric conditions. Lay out the blueprints for different types of storms. From small sporadic pulse storms to massive organized lines stretching hundreds of kilometers. But one of the most treasured sites to storm-loving photographers is the low precipitation supercell. The lack of shrouding rainfall around the twisted engine of these explosive storms is an uncommon sight to behold. And photographers go nuts for their naked lightning, tornadoes, and UFO-like mesocyclones. On May 16th this year, I stumbled across one of those rare perfect storms and ruined it. So, in this video, I'm going to teach you how to ruin the perfect storm. There's a tornado in there. In order to get the worst footage possible, you want to be frantically late to the special occasion, adjusting your camera while driving and miles away. Wow, it's perfect. Zooming in helps amplify all the bumps on the road, giving viewers a great seasickness effect. The bigger the dust spots on your camera sensors, the better. It's got to be the worst footage ever. Always be sure and wait until a photogenic tornado is on the ground before cleaning the dead bugs off your windshield. Once you've found a mediocre parking spot, set up your cameras as fast as you can. This will greatly increase your chances of making those magical mistakes. Now that your dusty sensors are doing their thing, why not try flying your new drone for the first time? In all the excitement, I highly recommend accidentally leaving the drone camera gimbal protector on. This messes up your camera, making it wobbly, spastic, and completely uncontrollable. With such beautiful and rare cloud formations in the sky, most professionals overlook filming the ground. Nat Geo, eat your heart out. Hey BBC Earth, wanna license some footage? Flying your drone through your other camera's field of view adds a great amateur and annoying effect to your final time lapses. Now that you've ruined a good portion of your perfect storm event, you can relax and focus on getting high quality, beautiful storm footage. There are many other things you can do to achieve terrible storm footage. During the rarest of events, say two EF4 tornadoes on the ground at the same time, try documenting it completely out of focus. There's two of them, there's the big one and then there's the cone. This will really make your storm footage. This will really make your storm footage unique among the competition. If you're really lucky, a swarm of bugs will gather around your lens while you're shooting. And if you really, really want to excel in the world of nature photography, wait for the most historic event, say the widest tornado to ever touch down, and then just don't even bother hitting the record button at all. I wasn't rolling on any of that. So f***ing 
way. Yeah, I did that. The current trendy thing to do to ruin your precious footage can easily be accomplished in the comfort of your own home. Nobody likes natural, realistic beauty, so why share a photo that looks like this when you can make it look like this? To achieve this effect, take your boring natural photo and open it in Lightroom. Ramp up your contrast and saturation to thermonuclear levels in order to dupe the public. Give it a facelift with the clarity tool and add thick foundation of some weird color spectrum non-existent even on Jovian moons. Many people don't go outside anymore to know this defies physics. I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful and I really look forward to seeing your ruined storm footage soon. Till next time friends, happy trails.